What is good guys, it's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I want to break down what's going on with Sessa Spy, Nvidia, the QQQ, and a couple of other stickers. I'll break down some very important levels to be watching for. Let's have to the economic calendar when Jerome Powell is going to be giving his speech. And all of this could affect the market moving forward. But before I begin to down all this information, before I get into any more details, let me just mention a couple of things. I am personally not a financial planner, so take nothing I say as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please check out the Weeble link, which is down below and in the description. We sign up for Weeble and deposit $500 to guarantee 20 free stocks. Deposit $25,000 or more and you're guaranteed 75 of them. And the offer ends in just two weeks. Check it out before they run out. Anyways, for SPY, the way we opened was right here. We got this nice double top like formation during the pre-market. And since then, SPY has been down trending slowly, making lower highs and lower lows. This is similar to what I told you guys in the morning. We might see this little pop before this thing continues to drop. It didn't get much of a pop, but we did end up seeing this thing continuing to fall. And SPY did end up getting this move all the way down to this 503 area. Now, if SPY were to lose this 503 support... Uh, and continuing to fall from here, we can see 502.5 is minor support, and then 501 is going to be our next target, uh, and then 500 below that. So there are a lot of targets down below which this thing could easily fall to. Uh, but for now, we're seeing some buyers trying to kind of defend it very close to the 502 range. So it's not going to just flush straight down to like 500 instantly. We're seeing some buyers trying to defend it. We're starting to see some uh, interesting changes over here. So. I would say that the bearish momentum is not as strong as before. It's not like we we're collapsing from here. We got crashing all the way down to 497 straight. For now, we're becoming a little bit more kind of like choppy in a way. We're, we're kind of like sinking a bit on a downtrend, but we're also simultaneously kind of choppy in this range. So it might remain, remain in this range for some time while maintaining this slight downtrend to it. So that's the way I kind of see SPY. It's not like flushing or anything like that's turning very, very sideways. And the reason for this is because... Firstly, at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, we have some bill auctions coming out. We have the 42-day bill auction, 52-week bill auction coming out. And then at 12.30 p.m., we have Williams from the Fed giving a speech, which, which might be very minor, because at 1.15 p.m., we have Jerome Powell giving a speech. That's going to be the most important catalyst for the day. When Jerome Powell speaks, he might cause some high volatility, so we'll see if he launches SPY all the way up or down. If Powell uh, basically gives his speech and SPY is at this level, and then he ends up pumping the markets. We could easily see this thing break all the way up to the 506 area, very close to our 200 EMA. If he causes a rug pull, we could fall all the way down towards 500, get very, very close to 500. So we will see what SPY ends up doing. As of right now, there's a slight downtrend to SPY, but it is starting to shuffle in this range as we're waiting for some more data to come out. For the QQQ, it's the same thing. We're also shuffling right here. We did come down a bit. Uh, there is a risk of more downside on this chart. Look for support at this 430 area and resistance at 432. As of right now, it's been range bound going back and forth and back and forth for quite some time. It might remain in this range for some time until we get Jerome Powell's speech. Powell could pump this all the way up to about 432.7 or he could, or even higher than that, so like 434, or he could cause a rug pull all the way down to about 420. Eight. If we lose 430 and we end up closing below that, we're easily going to fill the gap to 425. So it all depends on what Jerome Powell says. I'm just going to wait for that. Tesla is showing uh, some life. We're kind of range bound for the most part between these levels. We have this 155 zone acting as our support. We have resistance at 157.5. As you guys can see, if we break past that, we got potential to go all the way up, in my opinion, towards, excuse me, um, almost 160. Otherwise, we're just kind of range bound for now. If we lose 155, we could be sinking back down towards 153.75, followed by 152. So the levels are very tight. But for now, the market's very range bound, not really doing a whole lot. We're waiting for Jerome Powell to see if we launch ourselves higher or not. NVIDIA is trying to uptrend right here. Since the market has opened, it's been continuing this uptrend. Watch 872 as resistance, followed by 877. Watch support at 867. If we lose this, we could easily fall towards 862. So that's going to be a key for us, at least for the time being. We'll see how this thing ends up uh, moving. If we lose 862, we could easily start falling towards 850. As of right now, we're kind of stuck in a range. That's how the market's looking right now. And this is what usually happens approaching Powell's speeches. Uh, Apple is showing some weakness. We saw a little pumped about 174, but this ended up dropping amidst their Chinese sales. Dropping in more bearish news. We're barely holding 169 support. We have resistance at 170. We also have 168 as support below that. 
So we'll see how this thing does. As of right now, there's a little downtrend on Apple, and we're just going to wait and see when Jerome Powell starts speaking, see what he causes. But Apple is looking a little bit weak. There is a risk of it coming down to 168. The chart is looking more bearish overall, so just be careful on Apple. With that being said, let's wait for Jerome Powell, who's going to be speaking at 1.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll give the market the time it needs. And this is going to be a very, very quick update for now, guys. So just be careful. The market has a slight downtrend to it, but we're seeing a lot of sideways range-bound price action for the most part. So we'll see what Jerome Powell causes at 1.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you for listening, guys. I'll see you guys very soon in the next one. And peace out.